Hello everybody and welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. Today I have selected Maker's Mark in a big arse bottle. Look at the size of that son of a gun, will you? Will you look at it? Now you know the iconic wax, right? Look at this one. This one comes down like that. This is a 175 bottle. See this here? This mark? That's the mark of the maker of this, alright? Um, this bourbon first came out in 1958. Here's that mark again, if you can see it embossed in the glass. Um, the S, it's an S, and that stands for, um, what's that stand for? Star Hill Farm. Well, actually, that's what the star stands for. That little star is for Star Hill Farm. Star here, it's probably easier to see here. And then the uh, S stand, uh, stands for Samuels, Samuels family, who uh, started this uh, distillery and the four stands for the fourth generation um, although I believe they're on their sixth generation so I need to keep up with their own thing funny thing about this is collectors will actually seek out the different type of wax forms you know what they do is they make sure this is on good they dip it and then they'll twirl it like that or they'll dip it and they'll twirl it and bring it up and then just and they do it fast and they now if you visit this place which I've visited many many times you can do your own you can dunk your own bottle I'll go there again and I'll shoot a video and I'll post it because it's pretty interesting all the shutters on the buildings the buildings are black um, are red and they have this bottle uh, cut out in it it's on a beautiful uh, stream where they get the water with a with a mill it's a beautiful place now I first went there oh, in the early 80s uh, since then, they've really expanded everything. Um, you know, I like the quaint old way they did it. Uh, they've gotten pretty big now. Uh, big new visitor center and gift shop and all that. Still a great, great place to visit. Uh, this one here is 70% corn, 16% wheat, and 14% um, malted barley. There's no rye in here. Funny story, when he was coming up with this recipe, he actually used different grains and baked different loaves of bread. And everybody liked this the best and it didn't have any rye in it. And so this is what he made his bourbon out of. And I always say that if you want to compare different mash bills, different, um, you know, the ingredients that make up a, a whiskey, if you, if you wonder, like, what does the rye do or what does the corn do? Well, think of cornbread, how sweet cornbread and how it tastes, and rye bread, how spicy it is, and wheat bread, and it gives you an idea. Now, this is very high in corn, no rye, so this is going to be a very sweet bourbon. Uh, I'm bringing this to a party tonight, okay, that's why I want to do this review real quick, because this bottle is going to disappear, okay, it's a big party, it's going to be a wonderful time. I may get some video out of it, we'll see if there's anything good, uh, but a lot of my friends really enjoy this bourbon. Uh, so, I guess that's it, you know, I am here in Kentucky, uh, this is 90 proof, and uh, that's all really I'm going to say about it. Let's uh, crack it. Oh, and I'll say if they, if they dip this in real deep and it comes down to where the, the wax comes like all the way down to here, they call it a slam dunk. So there's different names. So people go to stores and collect the different ways the wax does it. Finally, I should say they make a, um, oh, what do they make? A Maker's for, uh, uh, 46, okay? They make the regular, the Maker's 46. And once a year during Derby, they do a um, mint uh, julep with a green. Uh, now they will come up with uh, the regular mash bill in all kinds of fancy bottles. I have a bunch of them. I've done them on one of my, uh, if you look at my playlist, I have collectible whiskeys or something. It should be in there where they've done one with every color wax for the NFL football teams. Uh, very hard to get those. I have ones like where University of Kentucky, if they win a national championship in basketball, they will do a Kentucky blue wax. I have several of those for the football team, for the basketball team, for different things, for different coaches. Um, I have one for a, a racetrack they did in green for Keeneland. That's funny. That was actually uh, bottled empty because they ran out of bourbon that year and they made the, they didn't have enough bourbon to do it. And they dipped it in green and it sold and I got one. They numbered it and everything. Maybe I'm a sucker, but I get all different colored. Sometimes they'll do black and red for the University of Louisville. And uh, they even do cigars that they'll dip in. And they I have an orange one for Tennessee. I have uh, red ones and different color ones where they're celebrating things. 
Uh, I have glasses. I have. I should have got them dug out. I have several glasses to where they're dipped in the wax, the red wax, and they have Maker's Mark engraved on it. So I have all that stuff. They make all kinds of stuff. Very neat. Just a side note. Let's get going. Nice screw cap so the wax don't fall in there. I'm going to be drinking some of this later tonight. I'm going to tell you what's cool about this party I'm going. There's going to be real moonshine, uh, real moonshine, and some of it will be um, infused with different fruits, strawberry and different fruits that they make. This is going to be a crazy... There'll be beer, and who knows what everybody's going to bring, but I'm bringing this big bottle of Makers. There'll be different kinds of bourbons there. Um, will I be able to sneak off and do a uh, review? I don't know. Will I get some crazy video i don't know i might and uh, but we'll see anyway who cares we'll do this now before this bottle disappears <laughs> so there it is amber gold beautiful beautiful 90 proof 45 percent abv high corn like i said you could smell the sweetness in here this is a good one you know for the price this is an excellent and i don't remember what i paid for that but this is not a very expensive bourbon it used to be that it was really one of the first boutique and hard to get and small, but now nah, they've they've done gotten a little bigger and there's millions of bourbons now. But this is a good old standby, 1958. The grounds are beautiful if you ever get there. I'm hoping they put a uh, little sub distillery in Louisville, like a lot of them are doing. Um, but either way, I go to all these and I have um, distilleries. I have a, a playlist of distilleries, and there's some interesting distilleries that I go to and I film. So I used to work on uh, Jim Beam. This is owned by Jim Beam. This is owned by, well, it's owned by Suntory Beam. Beam Suntory, I'm sorry. Suntory being a Japanese company, Beam Suntory, and they own Jim Beam, and they own Maker's Mark. But the family's still out there, okay? The family, I met the grandson. Um, they have a daughter, or not a daughter, but a daughter of the current guy that's out there making it. That's like the sixth generation she came, she came here from california so the family's still very much involved japanese bought it but they're smart enough to leave it the hell alone and while i'm talking this is changing it is so sweet it is so candied pecan um Like there's already Coke in here, Coca-Cola, candy pecan, caramel, a little bit of oak, a little bit of alcohol burn, that'll burn off in here. Oh, it's so... Honey toast. Just beautiful flavors coming up out of here. You can imagine the candied nuts, the honey toast, the sweet wood smell, oaky vanilla type smell, maple syrup on some pancakes, right, to get that wheat smell in there. Very delicious. <sighs> Smooth. coating my tongue. I feel the warmth going down. The sweetness, the maple. Almost like a caramel candy infused with liquor. Um, if it had chocolate on it, it'd be a dream. It's not really a chocolate taste, but like a but you've had those candies, those liquor candies. Um, so it's like um, a nougat with with the um, with the alcohol in it. Mmm. Smooth. Got a slight burn to it. Slight. It's at 90 proof. Um, but it's so easy to drink, and it such coats your mouth with just that, that, that sweetness, that almost that maple syrup, honey. It's like a sweet bourbon without much bite. 
there is a little cinnamon taste on the end from the barley, from the malted barley, and that just adds to it. So it's basically a sweet bourbon with all those flavors I mentioned, which you pick out your own, with a little bite of cinnamon, where I'm, if you said nutmeg, you wouldn't be a liar. And uh, you see what's cool here, I'm drinking this out of my bourbon classic glass. Um, I go to a lot of events here in Louisville, and they have all kinds of bourbon tastings and everything, and I'm always at them, right? And there's a bourbon festival here in the fall in Bardstown, Kentucky, which is close to where this is, Laredo. Um, and it's just, um, it's just unbelievable. It's just um, it's a world-class event. I will take pictures uh, and videos for you this year. I'm just getting so involved and having such fun. But a lot of the uh, the convention center will have um, tastings. The uh, opera house here, you know, where they do the arts and all. We'll, we'll have the bottom floors real big, and they'll have bourbon tastings. So bourbon tastings are plentiful here. They're big here. I go to all the um, distilleries. I put them on there for you. I have a, uh, and my friends have wonderful bourbon collections I've posted, and I really get to taste world-class bourbons um, a lot. I'm at ground zero for it. I've got friends in the industry, and I'm blessed when it comes to bourbon. It's like uh, if you like scotch, living in Scotland, having worked in a distillery, having friends in the business, same thing, but this is for the bourbon. So, hope you enjoyed it. Maker's Mark. Um, it's a good, easy drinker. If you want to have it, uh, you're not sure you want to have a bourbon, this one is, is a good one. for um, People start where it's not got a lot of bite and a lot of different things. So, nice, mellow, smooth bourbon, everybody. There's one I like better than this, a lot better. That's a generic. Um, I like this a lot. Uh, but the other one I like better, I've done some blind taste tests. I'm not going to bring it up now. I'll bring it up when I, um, when I review it. Um, but this one's very good. So, from Hillbilly Select Views, everybody, cheers now. I mean, one quick thing. I do have a lot that I like better than this that might be a little harsher or a little more with the rye and different things, cast strengths, but I've developed a palate over the years. I'm thinking of the general people, maybe people that are just having a party, you want to have a little bourbon. People like bourbon, they'll get into this. People that aren't, you know, maybe big whiskey drinkers can get this down, especially with... Um, you know, a little bit of ice or something in there with it if you want to do that. So, from Hillbilly Select Views, everybody, cheers, thank you. Wish me a good time on my party. I'm excited. In a couple hours, I'm going to be here. Cheers, everybody.